I say, chaps, there was a very funny story about the, uh, the, the bloke who went out big game hunting. He was after the big stuff, you know. And he was right out in the um, pampas grass and um, then um, right through the jungle, the very thick part of the jungle he was in, you know, dense part. And um, just as he was coming at the top, you remember the, um, the, the jungle, just by that little wicked gate, uh, he came out into a clearing, you see, and uh, in front of him uh, was a very big lake. And um, he had to get round to the other side of this lake because his quarry um, uh, had gone round the other side, you see, and got his gun with him and everything. So he went round left-hand side, thinking he'd, um, he'd go that way, of course, and uh, he met uh, a covey of tigers sort of lolling about, really. So um, he thought he wouldn't go that way, perhaps. So he decided to go round the right-hand side of the lake and uh, just <laughs> roughly round there. He saw a school of uh, lions sort of basking, and uh, so he thought perhaps he wouldn't go that way either. So he decided the only thing to do, of course, was to jump the lake. So he took a long run, and he was halfway across, and he looked down, and um, <laughs> there was a hippopotamus sort of staring him in the face. So, of course, you know, he'd been uh, eaten for certain, only he had the presence of mind to turn back. <laughs> As that was. Uh, now a song all about Pakasars and crooked men in straight settlements. A word, you ancient Britishers, a word allow us, please, about our island's Tory and the flag that's in the breeze. A song of our inheritance of blokes who follow through and carry on and blaze the trail and wave their torches to. Let's talk about our history of all our gallant knights. Crusaders in tin trousers who stood up for their rights, as the BBC say, dear a mon droitwich. Thank heaven we have Britons out in Burma in the bars, keeping, keeping up the old traditions. traditions. And dear old Marx and Spencer sitting in the old bazaars, keeping, keeping up the old traditions. traditions. All along the south of France, the seas as blue as ink, and Mrs. Baldwin's bathing there and feeling in the pink. While poor old Stanley stays at home and splashes in the sink, keeping, keeping up the old traditions. traditions. Sink, transit, Gloria, plug hole. There are Parsees passing betting slips beside the Shalimar, keeping, keeping up the old traditions. And Mademoiselle from Armentiers has been out to the Saar, keeping, keeping up, up the old traditions. traditions. Gladys Cooper wears a very modern underset, and all the moderns have their little nighties made of net. But Lady Snowden says she's going to stick to flannelette, keeping, keeping up the old tradition. Well, there's a wall, there's a way, I suppose. Uh, a truce to modern pastime, so easy to play well. Let's go and down the nine pins and up with nerd and spell. A murrain on your crooning, away with Boopadoo. Old England may turn turtle and we'll all be in the soup. We want another Cromwell, another Robin Hood. To tell the workhouse master all about his Christmas food. Up the casuals. The latest flats in Tennessee have roses round the door. Keeping, keeping up, up the old traditions. Mr. Drage is laying lino down the Polish corridor. Keeping, keeping up, up the old traditions. Tradition. When she sees a nudist, Lady Oxford always grieves. She lives beside a colony of Adams' and Eves. And she has to eat big pudding just to send them round the leaves. Keeping up the old traditions. Not this side, please. In the commons, Horvalisha was looking very blue. He said, I want a knighthood. They said, what did you do? And he simply shouted beacons, and they said the same to you. Keeping up the old traditions. That'll be all.